Hey guys, how's it going? Spinosaurus the King here. And before I get into this video, I want to warn you that there might be possible spoilers for Jurassic World Dominion in this video. So I just want to let you guys know. However, most things in this video are not confirmed, but some are. So I'm just making this clear. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the possibility of Dr. Alan Grant meeting Blue the Velociraptor in Jurassic World Dominion. So let's get started. So from what we know right now, Dr. Alan Grant is 100% confirmed to have a big role in Jurassic World Dominion. However, it is not confirmed that Blue the Velociraptor will be returning in Jurassic World Dominion. However, I'd say she has a good 90% chance of appearing since she's a fan favorite Velociraptor in the Jurassic World franchise and has appeared in two previous Jurassic World movies. I'll be coming up with a few th like theories on how I think Blue and Alan Grant will meet each other if they actually do meet in Jurassic World Dominion. So here's my first theory coming up. So just to let you guys know, the first theory that I'm going to be telling you guys about is actually not a theory that I came up with. It's a theory that goes full credit to a famous YouTuber called Tommy H, who used to like Jurassic World videos, but unfortunately he stopped a long time ago. I have no idea why, but anyways, Tommy H did a, like a theory video talking about Alan Grant discovering Blue sleeping in his backyard and kind of like a dream scene that we all fans would like to see and how they would meet. I think this would be real a really cool scene and I know Blue doesn't know Alan Grant, however, I don't see Blue attacking or hurting him due to Blue being able to sense who's evil and who's not evil. Which leads to my next theory. What if Alan Grant actually adopted Blue or Blue decided to go with Alan Grant to be his pal and live on his backyard? I feel like it's very possible and that would also explain why Sam Neill recently said in an interview that he gets into a fight with Owen Grady in the movie and apparently wins the fight. I don't know if this is a, was a joke or not. I mean, I kind of feel like it might have been because I don't know why they'd be fighting. I thought they would be on the same side. However, if they actually do fight, maybe it's possible they fight over, like, you know, who should own Blue. And I kind of doubt this would happen. But, hey, it's just a possible theory that might actually turn out to be true. But, anyways, guys, for my next theory, what if Blue saves Alan Grant from another carnivore dinosaur? Also, guys, I know this is getting a little off topic, but one thing I will say is if there's two YouTubers I do miss who made Jurassic World videos, it's definitely the Stupendous Wave. He was my favorite Jurassic Park YouTuber on uh, YouTube by far. And then Tommy H is probably tied with Clayton Fioriti. But, you know, unfortunately, Tommy H and the Stupendous Wave stopped making Jurassic World videos. Well, Tommy H stopped right, roughly, I think, two years ago. And then the Stupendous Wave stopped like freaking four years ago. But it's sad, but you know, I guess some people don't like, like, you know, not some, some people just don't like Jurassic Park forever, I'm guessing. I mean, I know for a fact I will. Don't worry, guys. I promise as long as I have this channel, which I plan to keep this channel forever, I plan to actually have YouTube for my full time job in the future. But one thing I will say is that I will never stop talking about Jurassic World, even after Jurassic World Dominion. I'll keep talking about future upcoming Jurassic theories, talking about the past films and theories and cutscenes and, and just different types of dinosaur facts. Like I'll never stop talking about Jurassic World and Jurassic Park. And I promise that to you guys. So I just wanted to make that clear to all of you. Anyways, going back to my next theory, if Blue died to another dinosaur to save Alan Grant or Owen Grady even, even though like Blue is not my favorite, I still think it would honestly be sad to see her die just because she's become a fan favorite Velociraptor in the franchise. And, you know, like she's been in the previous films. But guys, what if this happens? Like, what if the exact opposite happens? What if Alan Grant saves Blue instead of Blue saving him? And that's how they meet. And that's how, you know, Blue earns Alan Grant's trust. And that's how Alan Grant earns Blue's trust. And they respect each other. And then I think that would be really amazing. Anyways, guys, for my next theory on how they will meet is maybe when Alan and Ellie are on a mission to investigate to see what Biosyn is actually up to, they run into Blue and Alan, and Blue, Alan and Blue stare at each other eye to eye and eventually understand each other. And either they go their separate ways or they possibly team up to stop Biosyn from their evil plans. Now, I do understand this might be a little off topic, but I'm going to make a few predictions on what dinosaurs Blue might fight if she returns in this movie. I'd say Dilophosaurus, 
Decoderaptor or Pyroraptor. Also, I know this is also getting just a little bit off topic, but I know some people are probably going to say that I'm probably, you know, stupid because I'm saying that Rexy and Blue are not 100% confirmed and for Jurassic World Dominion. I mean, technically they're not. I mean, Rexy is kind of confirmed since a couple months ago they were talking about Rexy's design change. So I think Rexy is pretty much confirmed, but it's not 100%. And then Blue, it's also not 100% confirmed. However, I'd say they both have a good 90-95% chance of appearing in Jurassic World Dominion just because they're fan favorites and they are also, you know, they're the most popular T-Rex and Raptor in the franchise. However, I don't see Rexy doing much because she's getting really, really, really old. She's in her grandma stage now, so like asking her to fight dinosaurs such as like, you know, like another T-Rex, Spinosaurus, Indominus Rex, Carcodontosaurus, and Tignotosaurus, and expecting her to win. It's like asking your grandma to go, you know, fight for you and expecting her to win. I don't want to get hate on, on, on this, but you know, it is the truth. So I think Rexy, it's best that she only has a cameo because like showing her getting killed off to, you know, Jiganotosaurus, Spinosaurus or anything like that is going to make the fans all angry. So I think Rexy should just have a small cameo of maybe chasing a Jeep again to give a flashback to 1993 or possibly just seeing Rexy eat like a goat or a cow or something like that would be really cool. However, I do see Blue having a maybe an average role in this movie. Like, you know, I think Blue have a decent role with Alan Grant, which is what I hope to happen because like... I want to see Alan Grant. I want to see Alan Grant's reaction to a friendly Velociraptor because he's been only seeing evil Velociraptors his entire life. So it's about time he sees a change. And imagine in the future we see Owen Grady come across pure evil Raptors. I mean, I know the Raptors turned on him in Jurassic World, but then they went back with him. So like, I'd like to see his reaction to evil Raptors and Alan's reaction to good Raptors. Anyways, guys, back to those dinosaurs I was talking about, Dilophosaurus, Dakotaraptor, or Pyroraptor. Since all three of those dinosaurs were teased in, to be in Jurassic World Dominion by Colin Trevorrow and also Jurassic World fandom, I think like any one of these would be a good matchup. I'd say Blue versus Dilophosaurus is what most fans, including myself, would rather see due to us fans wanting to see a Dilophosaurus versus Velociraptor fight in the franchise for so long now. So I think this fight was also like, you know, this fight was teased in Jurassic World as we saw Hologram Dilophosaurus versus Delta in the Innovation Center, which was the first Jurassic World. And in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, the opening scene, we hear the sound effects of Dilophosaurus in the bushes and we see a statue of a juvenile Dilophosaurus versus a Velociraptor in the Lockwood Manor. Now, I will be honest, I'm kind of worried if they bring the Dilophosaurus back in Jurassic World Dominion, they're going to make it small again like they did in the first Jurassic Park movie, which would be a huge disappointment to me and 85 to 90% of the Jurassic Park fans out there as well. We want to see a fully grown Dilophosaurus. But anyways, since I've told you guys all my theories on how I think Alan Grant will meet Blue, if it's confirmed that Blue is going to be in the movie and they're actually going to meet, but anyways, I'd like to see your, your thoughts on this. How do you think they will meet if it's confirmed they're going to meet up in this movie? Tell me in the comments down below. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank my YouTube team, Patrick Kawan, my 2D animator, David Church, my director, BK Go Crazy, my Spino buddy, Zane Chiller, my first friend at Jurassic Park community on Instagram, Anthony Ellis, my drawer, GEM as James Edward McDonald, my YouTube reactor, Spinosaurus Boy, my comedian, and Sarthak Sharma, my best friend in real life. Also, one last thing, if you're interested in Spinosaurus the King merchandise and other offers I'm selling here is what I'm currently selling on my Patreon. A t-shirt with one logo of my merchandise is $40, and with two pictures, it's $50. A five-minute YouTube discussion video a day on your choice is $15 a month. Two deleted scenes a month of previous animations is $10 a month, a cameo of your very own character getting eaten by a dinosaur of your choice, and upcoming animations is $5 a month, and Chibis is $1 a month donation to support my content here on YouTube. If you're interested in buying any from, from me, the link to my Patreon will be in the description. All people who join my Patreon will receive a shout out at the end of every video I upload. Last one is custom Photoshop pictures that I make for your, either your thumbnails on YouTube or just for pictures you would like to use, I charge $5 
for every picture. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you're aware for my next video on YouTube. Leave a like, post a positive comment, rate and share my YouTube channel with all your friends and family, and please do the exact same for my YouTube team, and have a great day everyone.